Let me tell you how is life in London for a foreigner. All right, so this story happened, let's say, about two decades ago, yeah? So probably English people weren't as familiar, you know, with foreigners. So I completely understand, you know? So let's see. Um, this is about a home office appointment, okay? And this is an extraordinary story. So please do stay tuned in till the end. All right, so being a foreigner in London, trust me, is so, so tough, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, I am talking from my experience, the raw experience, I mean, being illegal, it's fine. Well, better than being legal purely because you can get away with uh, loads. And, uh, you know, when you get caught by playing stupid, you know. So, in a way, it's, it's much more fun being illegal than legal. <laughs> anyway. Enough about what is legal and what is not, because that will depend on whom you ask, right? For instance, it is legal to go to another country during wartime and not be held accountable, accountable for killing innocent people. But it is illegal if you travel and go to work in another country, right? Technically, lots of bullshit. So, anyway, before I go completely off topic, as I usually do, let me tell you about my home office appointment letter back in early 2000, okay? And no, it wasn't an interview, because I'd done that a few years ago, <laughs> and they believed my story all of it, which were all lies, by the way, okay? But I guess it takes one to know one, right? So that's why they let me in. <laughs> oh, trust me, it gets better. This is nothing, okay? It gets better. So, I read the letter to find out that the appointment is about uh, what the appointment is about and it read to register my uh, newborn child because I was uh, pregnant you know during that time okay and I was like all right I'm just like thinking to myself that you know Home office had all my doctor's uh, letters, including like due date, because I think that's how it was arranged in those days, because I wasn't yet, I was still um, registered as a refugee then, so I didn't have like permanent papers to actually stay in the country. So I was just waiting. So um, anyway, so they had my due date and everything, and they sent me an appointment to register my newborn child, well, three months before. Uh, and I was like, I know I'm foreign, uh, but the person who sent me the appointment letter, though, by any chance, uh, do they actually think that women in my country give birth after like six months? Or did they think that I'm a baboon monkey? Because <laughs> baboon monkeys, you know, give birth after six months. Anyway. I said to myself, this is probably a system error because a human couldn't be that stupid. So I decided to call home office and I explained to, well, whoever answered the phone, you know, that I'm still pregnant. Can you cancel my appointment and reschedule because you, you, you like send me an appointment three months, you know, uh, in advance. And um, I could speak English very well, even then, because I did go to school in my country and learned English too, as well as my own language. 
anyway. So you are not going to believe what the person said to me. <laughs> oh, and by the way, you know, it, it wasn't like a bad line or I couldn't speak English or anything whatsoever. Nonetheless, I've been in the country practicing English for the last three years too. So anyway, the person said to me, do you understand that this is a home office appointment? At that point, I was shocked and confused because I did call to speak to a home office, right? And I replied, um, yes, yes. And she continues, well, this is a very, very, very important appointment and you must attend. At that point, to be honest, I was speechless, right? So just for a moment, I ask myself, um, Am I actually living in London, the Great Britain? Or did my dodgy boyfriend, or well, my then dodgy boyfriend, because we're not longer together, or did my dodgy boyfriend lie to me that actually we are in London, but we probably could be somewhere else? <laughs> you know, I was just questioning myself, you know. I've been living in London for the past three years by then. And I am questioning myself because of this idiot on the other end of the line. Anyway, I was also pregnant and all hormonal and it was hot. So anyway, and I was like, um, 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 I just didn't know what to say. Then I was like, um, telling myself, no, 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 you are in London. Great Britain, so just agree, you know, to whatever it is that she's saying because I just could not be bothered to continue the conversation with, with her any longer because I noticed that one of us was definitely very, very, very stupid and clearly that wasn't me. So I said, okay, fine, thank you very much for your help. Then she asks, keep speaking. On the phone, is there anything else I can help you with? <laughs> oh, in my head, I was like, what? Then I replied politely, obviously. No, no, you helped me more than enough for today. So bye bye and thank you. I end the call and could not stop laughing for, uh, uh, to be honest, I don't even know how long, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, God knows how long I was laughing for. <laughs> anyway, so there's the day of my appointment. Um, I go to home office and uh, as I enter, I had to show my appointment letter um, and uh, obviously, um, I was guided to which floor and which section, you know, I had to go, right? So, um, there also the appointment letter and what the appointment was about because they were directing me there, right? However, um, let me say, I probably showed the appointment letter to, let's say, I think between two to three people. No one asked me where is the baby, but they all read in the appointment letter that this letter is to register a baby. Anyway, <sighs> I was like, okay. So um, I do as I'm told, you know, wait here, wait there, whatever, pick up this ticket and whatever, you know. And then I was called by this lovely young boy who was looking rather fancy and very, very fashionable, I should say. He had, um, he had very, um, um, what is it called? Like very lovely red spiky hair, like long spiky hair, right? Very, very nice. Black nail vanish, yes, and gorgeous black skinny jeans, and he smelled just fab. So he says, come with me. 
So off I go and follow him. As we sit down, he confirms, uh, you know, with me all the personal details, name, address, date of birth, da di da di da di da And then he asks, he asks me, oh, where's the baby? <laughs> and I literally at that point just pointed at my tummy, you know, here. <laughs> so he says to me, oh, but why did you come here? Um, to register your baby when you are still pregnant. And I was like, well, I did call and speak to one of your advisors. And um, she said that, do you understand that this is a very, very, very important appointment because it is the home office? And I said, yes. And I did explain that, well, my baby is still in my tummy and I'm still pregnant. And uh, you sent an appointment three months earlier. At that point, we just ended the conversation. We both laughed. <laughs> and then it was rather funny because I was asking, now I want money uh, for taxi and for lunch so that I can go home because you have just wasted my time. And that's exactly what happened, which, which was quite nice. <laughs> Amazing stories happen in London. Beautiful. <laughs> this is all for this. Okay, so until next time, take care and goodbye.